Hey Woodlanders, welcome back to a woodlog. So, lots going on this week. Felling and thinnings and clearance and branch logging and machinery breakdowns and all, all manner of stuff going on this week. So, uh, welcome back and uh, enjoy this one. So we had a good day yesterday. I managed to cut line out so In the distance about there, you'll see my log basket. And so all the way down to our fence line at the end, that's pretty well all been, got this track that runs through. So it's basically one line of tree out in a, in a bit of a zigzag. Uh, so I can get down to the, the rows then. So today I'm really got to do a great deal uh, of cutting that is not in this bit um, I think I've got to take out a larch or two here I've got one marked up somewhere which I think was this one yes this one was marked up but I think this one will be the one that's coming out because then I can get a, a route through there with that larch out there and then that silver birch out there, and then I can sneak round towards the uh, the c container then. This larch tree that's come down was from about, oh, about six weeks ago. So that wasn't Storm Eunice. That was a casualty. For, we had some very rare for us north winds and I obviously caught that larch by surprise and uh, it's actually torn it's not ripped the root plate out I think the tree twisted in the wind and eventually snapped the fibers so it's still connected at the bottom So, super busy day today. Chainsawing all day again. So all day yesterday, all day today. And I finished off this morning up by the larch. I'll probably video that. This afternoon, I've been down here just creating a little way in down here. Look, that pine was in the way. There was an ash in the way. And then this block here, this block here is all ash. It's not a very big block, it might be. 60, 70, 80 trees in here. But struggling with ash dieback, in fact I've missed one there. Uh, so I marked these up in the summer when the tops were all dead and you could see that the tops had died and you get all this, what they call it epicormic growth, which is all these new shoots that are coming out the sides. Classic symptom of ash dieback. So I marked up the ones that were dying and I've had them down, all but one. There's a tiddly little thing over there. And I'm going to replant this with some rubinias. So I've tried to keep the hazels where the because we've got quite a few self-set hazels in here and I'd like to expand this mini coop of hazel here 
across. But what I'm going to do from the fence line, which is just over there, you probably can't see it, but there's a fence line runs down there, our boundary. And then I'm going to plant the rabinias from the boundary across till I run out. I've got about 100 rabinias I've put from seed last year. I plant them at the top, but rabinias are quite brittle. And with the wind at the top, I think they're just going to snap. So this is quite a sheltered spot. It doesn't get wet. Uh, so I think, I think this could be a really nice spot for the rabinias. I've no idea whether they'll survive. They're quite a good nitrogen fixer. This was our storm damaged one. I've not seen anything else yet. So poor stock, bad seed uh, genetics means a lot of these have got doubles and triple leaders and to do that at only seven foot high. That's pretty bad really. So that was a triple leader. And of course you can see in that look, a bit of close up, water's just been getting in and uh, the storm finished them off really. And it sounds like my Makita saw has been fixed, which is epically awesome. A friend of ours, Derek, has done a, his magical whiz on it with his electrician. And, um, oops, falling over on that week. It's good news, so he's going to drop it off. So I've got a dash. And uh, see you shortly. So we're at branch logging today. Just watching a robin. 
hang on the wind and into the mic, you might be able to hear it. Yeah, so we're branch logging today. Um, this is uh, a branch logger that uh, I had part funded through the National Forest, which is rather awesome. Um, with the, uh, the stuff going through it, so the branches that go through the branch logger, I convert either into charcoal or it gets used to fuel the retort. So the pine gets used to fuel it because you don't turn, it tends to turn pine into charcoal. The hardwoods all get converted into charcoal. As I knew would happen, I'll end up with more than I actually need because there's that many branches. So you can be a bit selective about what you use, but it does help to reduce volume. So I can use this. We'll just see that. Just there, look. Little piles. Like little monoliths, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have my drink. Hopefully Karen will be looking at me. With Ellie Ray, my daughter. Uh, might be able to give me a chuck for an hour. That'd be nice. Enough. How's your day going? What are you up to? By all means, comment. Love to hear what you've got to say. Uh, it's no problem at all. I'll try and respond if I can. Thank you. 